Hello everyone, uh, Dan Calloway here, and uh, today I'm in uh, a new Linux distribution. Uh, this one is a virtual machine, but I also have it installed on my laptop, which is a Dell Latitude E6400 um, business laptop. But in my VM here of Oracle, I've got Slantu Linux, which is uh, version 18.07.1. Uh, which is best based on Gentoo uh, Linux and Gentoo if you're not familiar with it is a very old uh, probably one of the very first uh, Linux distributions available uh, I've been working with Linux since 1996 so uh, you know I've been around a while and uh, I've been working with Linux for quite some time and Gentoo is not a problem for me because I uh, you know, after you get used to uh, a couple of changes, I mean, there's uh, you have to learn that uh, in Gentoo Linux, everything is compiled. Uh, there are no binaries or tarballs, uh, so everything gets compiled. Uh, you have to uh, get used to something called the Portage uh, Package Manager, and then there is a GUI for it called Porthole. I'll show that show you that here in a moment, um, and also. Um, every package gets emerged, uh, so you have to use the emerge command in the command line if you want to do that. Uh, and there are some other things that you have to uh, become familiar with. It's just a matter of learning it. Once you do that, it should be fine. Building it from scratch is quite a different story. I have done that, and um, compilation of the kernel, for instance, in Gentoo can take several hours. So uh, this one is Slandu. And I, I grabbed the download from SourceForge.net. Let's take a look at it. Let me get in here. In the applications here. Uh, I've got the windowy look, so it looks like you know close to Windows. Here in the accessories, here's the calculator. So you bring the calculator up. I'm in the advanced mode right now, but you can go back to basic mode and use this calculator. Uh, so let's just do a quick calculation: 12 times five. You know, so we've got 60. Um, nice calculator. Let's go back here to uh, applications and get into accessories again. Let's go to disks. Here, this is the uh, disk partitioner. It's actually uh, gparted, I believe. And uh, so it shows you the makeup of the disk. I've got an 81 gigabyte hard drive virtual in uh, VBox here that I'm running this in. Um, Let's take a look at some more things here under accessories. You've got uh, Ngrampa Archive Manager. You've got the Mate Search Tool. That's a nice tool. Let me go ahead and uh, pull that up. And so let's look at searching for files that end in the uh, star.txt, end in the txt extension. I'm going to point it toward the Data Pioneer folder and click Find. And so look how quickly that found these files. Uh, it's still searching, but it pulled all the, uh, I think it's finished now, all of the files on the system under the Data Pioneer directory, which is my home directory, uh, with a .txt extension, which is very nice. Under Applications again here, we've got uh, the Pluma text editor. So this is the text editor that you can use uh, in Slantu. Uh, very nice one here. Um, let's go ahead and close that. Under applications here again, accessories, you've got the take screenshot, so you can bring this up. I've got a three second delay here, grab the whole desktop. I've got it uh, set up so that when I hit the take screenshot, it takes a screenshot of the entire system here. I'm not going to change its name. It's going to go into the pictures folder and just click save. So now I've got a screenshot of my desktop. Okay. Uh, under accessories, also you've got the Wicked uh, Network Manager. I'm right now I'm connected wired connection here, and I've got static IP address of 192.168.178, I believe it's set up to. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. Um, let's look at some other stuff. Under graphics, you've got the I Have Made Image Viewer. You've got the GNU Manipulation Program. This is GIMP. And I believe the version here is 2.8. Could be upgraded to the latest version, which is 3. Dot something. All right, so this is GIMP. If I wanted to open up a file, I can do File Open. Uh, and go to Data Pioneer JPEG and click Open. 
Oops, I didn't grab it. All right, and so there we go. And um, so it opens that up. This is very responsive operating system, by the way. Uh, very nice uh, distro of Linux. All right, so under graphics here, we've got other things. The mate color selector. Under internet, you've got Aurora. Now, Aurora is the developer edition of Firefox. It's not the latest edition by any means. In fact, it's a little outdated. Uh, I can upgrade this to the latest edition, which is 66.0, uh, but uh, I haven't done that yet in a VM here. Um, so in a few seconds, it'll open up, and uh, I can show you. Um, here we go. Show you that I've got it set up to uh, go to a home page. I thought, anyway. Uh, yeah, here it comes. It's a little slow for some reason. Um, here we go. So it's kadaza.com is my home page. I also have, if I have a tab here, it's got tabbed views on things that I'm doing here. So let me go ahead and close that. All right, so uh, if I want to right click on the desktop and select organize desktop by name or open in terminal, it brings up the terminal. So let me do a uname. I can type. Um, here we can see this is Linux Slantu. So Slantu data vm.home is the fully qualified domain name of this uh, computer. It is running the 4.14.52 Gen 2 kernel. Um, and it is running on a 3.9 megahertz CPU dual core i3 7100 7th generation, which is equivalent to an i5. If I do a DF uh, H for human readable, you can see that. Here is the layout of my hard drive itself. Uh, and um, if I do uh, HTOP, which was not installed by default, so I went ahead and installed it here, um, you can see that we're only using 251 megs here of memory of an available 4 gigs. So that's not bad at all. Um, there are 52 processes running, 151 threads, uh, one running rather, 52 tasks set up in the system. Got a load average of 0 0.44, 0 0.36, and 0.22. Very good. Anything with a dual core, anything under 2.0 is good. Uptime here of 16 minutes. All right. And so let me go ahead and get out of this. Let's go and close the uh, screen. And close the terminal. All right. Let's get back into applications under Internet. Aurora I showed you. Early Bird is a Thunderbird mail client. Uh, Internet Messenger Transmission, which is a BitTorrent client. And of course, then again, the Wicked Network Manager. Under Office, I um, eliminated or removed, rather, the um, LibreOffice, which comes out of the box. And I replaced that with uh, WPS Office. So I have WPS Writer, Spreadsheets, and Presentation. Uh, so if I click on Writer, I'll open that up for you. And uh, here it comes. And it's, this is what it looks like. Very nice. It's got the ribbon just like uh, Microsoft Office 2016. All right. And so I did that. I'll show you how I did that here in a moment. Um, under Office, uh, got the Mate Dictionary. So let's open that up. Let me type in a word. The word's precocious. It gives you the definition of it. Tells you the origin of the word. So this is the dictionary built into Slantu or Gentoo Linux. Under applications again, we've got uh, sound and video. We've got Brazero, Cheese, which is a web in, web uh, cam camera. X Falso, uh, Quad Libet, which is a uh, equivalent to um, the application that you use in uh, Windows for managing your uh, um, music and such. Okay. Um, here we've got simple screen recorder, which I can use to record the, the desktop, make videos if I want. Uh, this is equivalent to Quadlabet's equivalent to iTunes, by the way. Sound, and then VC, uh, VLC rather, media player. That does not come out of the box either. I had to install that uh, using Porthole, and I'll show you here uh, what that's all about here in a moment. Let me just pull up a quick video to see what it looks like running in VLC Media Player.
da jetzt noch ein paar sonnige Abschnitte, noch ein Schwüsch. Okay, so that's a video running here in VLC Media Player. Latest edition, by the way. Um, under System Tools, you've got several things. You've got Kaja, which is your file manager. Very nice file manager. Um, I prefer PC Man FM, and I'll probably install that later, but um, Kaja is what is out of the box with uh, Slon2. Um, under Applications as well, you've got uh, System Tools, Gparted, HTOP, uh, Install Linux, you've got Managed Printing, I haven't done anything with the printer yet. Uh, the Mate Disk Usage Analyzer, Mate System Monitor, if I click on that, it uh, is monitoring the system right now. And you can see things happening over here. Um, it's very similar to what you see in Windows. Um, also in System Tools, I've got Power Statistics, the Mate Terminal, which I pulled up earlier. And uh, so that's there. That's available under Application System Tools. Uh, Power Statistics. Now, I wanted to show you the Porthole Portage Terminal. Porthole is the GUI for Portage. And um, you can use this to actually install applications and remove applications in Gentoo, or in this case, Slantu. Um, so, if, for instance, if I want to uh, look up GFTP, which is a file transfer protocol client, I type it in there, hit enter. It says that there's one package available, and uh, there it is. I have not installed it yet, and I'm not going to do it because it could take a while because it compiles everything. It doesn't just install a binary and run. It, it compiles everything in Gentoo. It says it's not installed. And if it were installed, it would have a green uh, circle right here. OK, so <clears throat> anyway, um, this is uh, Portage. And so you can go in here and update packages. You can place packages in the queue. You can do advanced emerge as well, uh, which allows you to select emerge options, package options, the virgin, versions that you want, uh, the use flags, the keywords to accept, and other things that uh, are, uh, you know, attributed to Gentoo that you don't see in other Linux distros. And so let me go ahead and close that. All right, moving along, we've got uh, system tools, uh, UX term and X term and tilde. Under Places, we've got uh, your locations, which is Home, Desktop, Computer, CD-ROM, Network, Connect to Server. Let me do that real quick. I've got a, a personal cloud at 192.168.1.157. I'm going to SSH into it. And I'm going to use, I'm going to go to the Shares directory when I do SSH into it. I'm going to use root as the username and the password. and then click connect. And that's going to go out and uh, connect to my personal cloud and open it up for me on the desktop. And there it is. And so this is in the shares directory on my personal cloud, which is a six terabyte cloud. Let me close that. And it keeps it there, although I can unmount it and unmount that if I want. OK, under system, you've got preferences, hardware, displays, we're running a 1920 by 1080 here, 60 hertz. Um, under preferences here, you've got internet and network, look and feel, appearance. Let me just look at that real quick. I'm running the custom appearance right now. I like it the way it is. I'm not going to change anything. Uh, you can select among many here. Um, green Lag Laguns, uh, Black Mate, Blue Minta, Blue Submarine, etc., etc. You can even go online and get more if you like. And um, let's see, under preference, you've got administration users. Okay, there's my user setup. And let's see, system, got the control center. Here with the control center, you can access a bunch of stuff uh, that we've already looked at. Uh, but you can go down in here and access that as well. And almost done here. And um, so under system as well, you can get into the lock screen. You can log out as the user or shut down. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the system down. 
uh, after we take a look at this really quick, this is the output here of the speaker. This is your um, weather widget that I have set up here. Uh, here's my calendar, etc. Okay, so that's where you can change the time as well. And you can do that here by doing preferences, and then you can do time settings, and you can actually set the system time, etc., etc. All right, so this has been a quick look at Slon2 Linux, which is based on Gentoo. And so let me go ahead and shut the system down. And um, thanks for joining me, and have a nice day.